Across Texas and the nation, police shootings are under fire with much of the public wanting more transparency from officials when an officer shoots and kills a person. The result? Major Texas cities now release dashboard and body worn camera video, sometimes within days of these deadly encounters. But in San Antonio, no such policy exists and police accountability experts say that's a problem. During a months long investigation, the night team's Dylan Collier looked at the guidelines of other law enforcement agencies and why SAPD hasn't followed suit. It's tonight's Defenders Report. <laughs> In June 2019, San Antonio police found Tomas Hernandez on a downtown highway overpass. SAPD officers stopped him from jumping, but shot him six times in the process, killing the 35-year-old after he reached for a weapon. The person drew that weapon, officers believing it to be a gun, it was a knife. Even though footage of Hernandez's shooting death exists, it's unlikely the public will ever see it. Why? It turns out a state law allows city officials to keep it hidden since the case did not result in a criminal conviction for any of the officers involved. I believe that the public has an absolute right to see that footage as soon as possible. An attorney by trade, Merrick Bob, has helped some of the country's largest police departments manage the risks of officer misconduct, dating back to the aftermath of the Rodney King beating nearly 30 years ago. Holding back because you don't like what that information shows doesn't help you at all in the long run. An examination by the defenders found that the Dallas, Arlington, Fort Worth, and Austin police departments have all adopted policies. Put your hands up, show me your hands. That call for footage to be released after officers shoot someone. In the Metroplex, that video is made public within days. Put your hands up here now. Austin's new protocol, the most stringent of the four, it was published in June amidst protests there and across the United States and came weeks after Austin police officers shot and killed Mike Ramos. Impact him! APD's guidelines call for it to now publish videos like this within 60 days. And if they can't, they must explain why within 45 days of the shooting taking place. Austin 911. Video of Ramos's death, which included 911 audio and a narration from a lieutenant with the department, was released three months after the shooting and while the officers were still being investigated. I think this is one of the most difficult questions in contemporary policing. But it's a question St. Mary's law professor Gary Ramey says can't be ignored. Mario, I just said I'm not taking questions. So and it may help explain what has played out in recent months in Houston, which like San Antonio, does not yet have a policy specific to footage of police shootings. After HPD officers shot and killed six people in five weeks, Chief Art Acevedo in June held an intense press conference that included family members of people killed by officers. The loved ones explained one by one why they wanted the footage kept out of the public eye. Once these videos are released, it, they go on these websites for generations of families to see. But months after Acevedo put his arm around the widow of Nicholas Chavez as she pleaded for police video of her husband's death to not come out. The videos you are about to see are graphic. The chief reversed course. And while announcing the firing of four officers who responded to the call the night Chavez was killed, he also released footage showing them shooting Chavez more than 20 times. Experts we spoke with say policies for releasing footage of officers shooting suspects will undoubtedly be revised in the years to come. But to not have one in the works, at least at this point, they say is almost unbelievable. The San Antonio Police Department has 2,200 officers that a department that size, the seventh biggest city in the United States, and at this point, no policy for releasing footage after an officer shoots and kills a person. It's very surprising to me, and I would encourage that chief to look across the country at other practices of departments that are doing quite well with this and really building strong trust. Chief William McManus did not respond to our repeated request for an interview about SAPD's lack of a policy, but it appears his department will have no choice but to take up the issue. Earlier this month, Mayor Ron Nuremberg called for a complete review of SAPD's body-worn camera policies in order to improve transparency, accountability, and public accessibility. Are you surprised that SAPD had nothing on the books prior till now, specifically for footage of officer shootings? 
I'm a little surprised. And we have these very high profile events. There's a lot of conflicting uh, accounts that really can only be settled uh, once there is uh, some viewing of the video. Nuremberg's memo came a day after an SAPD officer shot and killed Daryl Zamalt Sr. in front of his west side home. Police say Zamalt had been named in several domestic violence reports by an ex-girlfriend and struggled over an officer's gun after they tried to take him into custody. Police video of Zamalt's death has not been made public. If you can't release it to the family while you're out here painting this narrative and controlling what you, what you would like to paint this person out to be, then you're not protecting and serving. And so I ask, who are you protecting and who are you serving? I think the days of police hunkering down and saying, too bad, you're not going to get it, we don't have to kind of a game, those days are gone. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Many of these shooting videos released by other departments include redactions, blurring of sensitive footage, and even high-ranking officers describing to viewers what they're about to see. Law professor Ramey says that can be problematic as an agency may try to spin what is shown in their favor. Coming up later in the show, what does the head of the San Antonio Police Officers Union think of body cam footage being released sooner? Our live interview with Detective Mike Helley later in this show.